promising new application for fiber-reinforced polymer composites employing recycled plastics has been developed by Mr. John Coons and Kansas Structural Composites Incorporated, KSCI of Russell, Kansas. The world's first practical demonstration of this new bridge building concept is a 21-foot span over No Name Creek in Russell County, Kansas. In order to create this bridge, KSCI used a composite sandwich construction by combining different types of fiberglass with AOC 7RCP25 terephthalic isophthalic recycled content polyester resin. Composite flat panels form the upper and lower portions of the sandwich, while a composite honeycomb core fills the space between them. The top and bottom panels are joined to the central honeycomb core by an adhesive bond formed with AOC's VE16 rubber modified vinyl ester resin. This results in a sandwich structure with very high stiffness and load bearing capability. Each panel is completed by applying a top surface of polymer concrete made by mixing stone aggregate with AOC's 78609 DCPD polyester. This produces a renewable, wear resistant, high traction surface. On September 12, 1996, KSCI and Kansas State University field tested the 8,000 pound center section of this composite bridge. Here's, here's the big one. This is the big one. The heaviest object tested was a large front end loader filled with heavy wet sand. A load with an axle weight of 62,200 pounds. When centered over the 21-foot span, this load, nearly eight times the weight of the panel being tested, resulted in a deflection of less than three-eighths of an inch. The three sections that made up this bridge, complete with the composite guardrails attached to the outside panels, were manufactured at KSCI's plant in Russell, Kansas, then trucked to No Name Creek for assembly. The light weight of these panels, typically 85% less than what equivalent concrete and steel panels would weigh, reduces handling, transportation, and installation costs to a minimum. Because this bridge is the first of its kind, a special test jig was included approximately six inches below the bottom of the panels for the purpose of supporting test instruments. Each of the bridge's three panels is 23 feet, 3 inches long, 9 feet wide, and 22 inches thick. Total combined weight for the three panels is approximately 25,000 pounds. The sections were lifted and manipulated with eye screws, which are threaded into the panels when needed, then removed and replaced by threaded plugs while the bridge is in service. First, the sections were set in place and checked for proper fit. The two side panels were then moved out slightly, allowing access to the joints. The pieces were then moved into place using a light crane, ropes, chains, and boomers.
Once the panels are properly positioned, additional layers of fiberglass and AOC resin are applied to the tops of the joints. Okay. New joints have been designed for the next generation of bridges. These will make installation even faster and easier, virtually eliminating the need for layup, bonding, and polymer concrete work during installation. Okay, Steve, I think I... This is the aggregate to the resin. AOC 78609 DCPD thermoset polyester for polymer concrete is combined at the site with local aggregate and applied to the joints. A sprinkling of sand finishes those joints. The world's first fiber-reinforced polymer honeycomb bridge for vehicular traffic opened to the public on November 9, 1996, over No Name Creek. The official ribbon cutting on December 4, 1996, was performed by Secretary E. Dean Carlson of the Kansas Department of Transportation. For additional information about the bridge, other applications making use of AOC's fine products, or additional information about Alpha Owens Corning and its products, please visit our site on the World Wide Web.